In this video, I'll be showing you how to make color changing animation or maybe some popping up animation if you want. So, let's open up a standard EXE project. Okay. And let's make a label. Let's make a label here. Okay, a label. I prefer to center it. And let's put color changing here. Color, color, change. And then change to whatever font you want. Right now, I'll be going to Arial. Arial. Arrow. And then make it as big as you want to. Whoops, too big. Okay. There. And then make the label transparent. So go to back style, change the opac to opaque to uh, transparent. There you go. So copy paste. Copy paste. No. One more. And no. So that should give us four labels. One, two, three, four. You see in the property combo box here. Four labels. Okay, so what we do now is go to label one, change it to whatever color you want it to be changed to. So I'll be changing it the four color to red. And then go to label two, change it to a different color. So let's change it to yellow. And label three, changing it to orange. And four to um, dark red. Okay. So we change the color of all four labels to something different. And then now we need four timers. It's one, two, three, and four. Uh, make timer one interval. Right, let's go. Let's go backwards. Make timer four equal to one thousand. Then make one timer three nine hundred. Timer two eight hundred, and I get it. I'm betting you get the pattern here. And then seven hundred. So all intervals are different. They're all enabled on the timers, all colors of the labels are different and now we begin to code. So we go to timer one. Oh wait first actually we have to do one more thing with the labels. Select all your labels and go to the property of visible. Make it false. Okay now we begin to code. So I'll go to double click timer one. You should go to timer one timer private sub okay so the coding for the color changing is label one dot caption is equal to something something but first let's do this like this first label let's put in all the labels first so label two caption label three caption oh whoa 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 little slight mistake there it's not caption it's visible so label one visible and then label two visible and so forth label three and then four visible blah 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 four visible so let's copy these three so we don't have to keep on uh, keep on typing it because we're gonna have to be typing this in to all four so I wouldn't I wouldn't want that. So, timer one will make it so that label one is visible and everything else is false. Everything else is invisible. So, let's go to timer two. And then, so timer two makes it that label two is visible. Beginning to see the pattern. So, whatever the timer number is, 
that corresponds to which label is visible. Timer three. Three is visible, and everything else is false. Then timer four. And if I keep saying it, it'll just be redundant. False, 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 true. So if you're to run this, the colors should be changing in a hypnotizing way. There you go, color changing. Cool. So that's color changing. You can also make advantage of this in another way. If you don't want it color changing, you can make it like some sort of screensaver or whatever. Separately move all four to different places on the form. Then run it. Whoa, that is very, very. Ugh. Ah, okay. So that's the color changing tutorial, or the busy tutorial, you can say. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.